Good morning, my dear students. I am glad to meet you again in our Unit 2 poem, The Tree. I hope you listen carefully my previous class. Like Ishwar, I am about to continue the poem and will finish today. Tomorrow, I shall revise the same poem, question and answers. Listen carefully, guys, so that it will be easy for you to memorize the poem as well as the question and answers. Since we have one week break, let me read again those five stanzas so that it will be a refreshment for you. What I discussed in my previous class. The tree written by the poet Keki N. Daruwala. Next to the track, beside the house, Dad planted a gulmohar. We tended it, we watered it. It wanted more and more. When first its little shoots of green spread across the boughs, some of us said, Ha, that's great. And some of us said, Wow. Its branches were so low, we drove the goats away and cows. It really kept us on our toes. A baby tree needs care. Next year, the green first changed to leaf. Next year, the blossoms flared. It turned into a red roof tree, a thing of beauty rare. Its falling flowers and its shades, they covered off the track. It sheltered us from sun and rain. The tree had paid us back. We saw it grow, it saw us grow, from half shorts into pants. We ran around and climbed it. We shook its root and branch. By now, have we all completed memorizing the first three stanzas of the poem, guys? If not, even now, it is not too late. Immediately complete these kinds of simple tasks. Because you still have questions and answers to study for this poem. That is why I am requesting you to kindly finish the memory part first. That is the first three stanzas and then concentrate tomorrow on the question and answers and start equipping yourself to face this competitive world. Okay students, now let us get into the poem. Even though we have not completed the poem, by this time you all should understand one thing in life. Plants are so important for our survival. The more, the more plants are in this earth, the more oxygen we get for our survival. Not only that, the more the vegetations in this earth, we get more and more natural resources in various forms for our living. Also, the more and more vegetation in this air, almost all kinds of pollutions can be controlled. Also, can be shielded and global warming can be controlled. That much important is the presence of plants on this earth. Plants protect us and our other generations too. Plants also helps to maintain food chain by maintaining the wildlife on this earth. So conserve as many trees as you can in this earth. But this excludes certain trees which are harmful to us or soil or to the earth. I hope you understand my view. Then let me add one more to this. That is, if you aim to achieve something in life 
for the sake of green vegetations. Let me confirm this. Without education, it will be very difficult to achieve that goal and favor green plants. So, whatever you do, good to the society or to our green planet, that is our year. You could do only with education and intelligence. But once you are educated, kindly do not forget our planet, changing your mind and aim on something else. This you will understand when you grow up. Okay guys? Let me continue with the poem from where I left. Listen carefully to the words, their meanings and hidden values in the poem. For 40 years, it spread carpets on the summer floor. And then, one day, a labor gang came crowding to our door. In this stanza, we could clearly understand that 40 years have passed by with the Gulbahar tree. The tree has faced all kinds of seasons and the poet as a young boy have grown into an adult. That is from shorts to pants. But nowadays even an old man wears shorts are threefold. I hope that you all know. Never mind guys, this is, a, this is an old poem where only small boys used to wear shorts and when they become mature, they wear only pants or dhotis. That shows their dignity in those days. These 40 years, do you think there would, be, would have been no disturbance for the tree? Never. It is not the tree. Any goodness, if you consider in this world, damn sure there will be some evil to disturb its achievement or progress. I mean, even in your life achievements, there will be some obstacles to stop your progress. My kind request is to stop bothering those and mind only about your goals in life, so that you can keep on achieving always permanently. Do you understand, my dear guys? I repeat, for 40 years, it spread carpets on the summer floor. And then, one day, a labor gang came crowding to our door. After 40 years of slow and steady growth of the Gulbuha tree, one fine day, yes, here comes a labor gang to the poet's house. They knock the poet's door. Why did they came? Are they going to disturb the poet? Or are they going to disturb the Gulbuha tree? Just wait. Let me read aloud the next stanza and explain. So that you could understand the purpose of the entry of the labor gang to our poet's door. The track had to be widened. The tree had to come down. Seeing us shocked, the sheepish eyes never left the ground. Yes, those labels were there for a reason. They wished to widen the track there. Even on our roadsides, we see forest department trimming the trees occasionally such that those tree branches don't affect large vehicles so that the vehicles move freely without the disturbance of any branches. But here in this poem, the laborers were there to cut down the tree just to expand the track. I mean, they are about to cut down the huge Gulbha tree. 40 years of small disturbance can be excused. Those disturbances were not actually disturbance for the poet or the tree. Because those disturbances just affected the poet or the tree partially. But now, there came a huge obstacles which ends its life. Like 
how you are shocked now. By hearing this, the poet and his whole family were shocked. Sheeping, that is, feeling or showing embarrassment for doing something silly. The eyes of the labor gangs were sheep, sheeping, that is, they fell for what they are about to do. I mean, they fell for cutting the tree. No other go. They have been ordered by someone to do so for extending the track. This is what being expressed in the poem as sheeping eyes that never left the ground. This means those laborers felt sorry or shy for the deeds that is for cutting the tree. I repeat, the track had to be widened. The tree had to come down. Seeing us shocked, the sheepish eyes never left the ground. Now, let me read the next stanza. Listen carefully for how they removed or cut the tree. Do you think that is very easy to remove something good from earth? No, never guys. It is not that easy to remove something good from this world. Okay, let me read the next stanza. The track had to be widened. For four hours they hacked. What forty winters could not do took four hours for the axe. As I said some moments before, it is not easy to remove or cut a tree. It took almost four hours to remove or cut the gulmha tree, even though there are various meanings for the word hack. Here the meaning of hack is cut. Forty winters came in forty years each year, but this winter or any season could not break or cut the tree. But these laborers took almost four hours to cut the tree using axe. I repeat, the track had to be widened. For four hours they hacked. What forty winters could not do took four hours for the axe. Root and trunk and branch were in. A sawmill lay to rest. Then birds came down and took away its twigs to build their nest. Slowly, the root, trunk and branches were cut one after another. Trunk is none other, none other than the woody bark of the tree. Almost the whole tree, including the root, were cut into pieces and the sawmill led to rest. I repeat, roots and trunk and branch were in. A sawmill led to rest. Then birds came down and took away its twigs to build their nests. So, pity to see this condition. When the work was almost over, birds came in. The birds took small twigs to build their nests using those. This shows the significance are the importance of a tree during its survival and even after its death. In this world, we should be like a tree always. There are some tree which converts harmful gases and drainage water into a useful gases as well as a sweet tender water respectively. Similarly, we find many trees that sacrifice their lives for our benefits, that is, which is used as a food or made into a furniture or crushed into a medicine, etc. So we must always respect trees as well as conserve them. Now let me read out the last stanza of this poem. Stay, listen. A feeling now surged over me, I can't describe in words. 
the tree which blessed my childhood still looked after fledging birds at the end of this poem the poet gets a sudden strong feeling which he could not get described in this poem this shows his emotion for the tree which fell flat now surge means a sudden strong feeling or emotion he described that the gulmohar tree blessed his childhood this means that he was overwhelmed with joy and happiness because of that gulmohar tree but now he is almost filled with tears could not speak a word all because of the loss of the tree being happy forgetting our worries is none other than a blessing this is what our poet tries to express as blessing finally the poet ends the poem looking at the flying birds now they have no place to stay there so they started to fly off this is the meaning of fledging actually fledging means the first fly of a small egg bird but here fledge means flying away in the absence of that tree i repeat a feeling now surged over me i can't describe in words the tree which blessed my childhood still looked after fledging birds i hope you listen carefully today's assignment is write all the meanings that is displayed in the screen in your notebook neatly and legibly now you are in a countdown for the reopening of school so stop being lethargic and concentrate on your second term assignment i mean start finishing all the homeworks that is given in each class by every subject teachers you will be asked to submit the notebooks as soon as the school as soon as the school if reopens okay thank you god bless you all all the best work for your exams and for your bright and peaceful future take care